Hello, middle school math teacher. If you are looking for some ideas on games to play with your students during the first day, first week of school, I got you. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three of my favorite first day of school slash first week of school games for us to get to know each other, build our classroom, our classroom culture, and really just create a general safe space to learn, ask questions and, you know, just in general, creating a good safe space for my students. So let's dive in. The first number one game that, well, really the first game, but really it's my number one favorite game to play during the first day of school. And I will generally play this. I will always play this on the first day, if not second day of school, just depending on how much time we have, is two truths and a lie. So the way that we play this game, and I love it so much actually, because we can play this game in those first few days of school on a personal level, and then you can play two truths and a lie and make it math. So two truths and a lie is exactly what it sounds. You have your students share, and it's great if you share too as the teacher, because it really helps students look at you as a human and you're not, you know, instead of some, like the adult authority of the room, like you are the authority of the room, obviously, but you want to be approachable, right? You want to be personable with your students. So you and all of your students are going to go around to and share three statements. Two of them are true statements about yourself. And one of them is a lie. So if we were playing together, my three statements would be statement number one is I was once in a movie with Samuel Jackson and Channing Tatum. Statement number two is I live in the great state of New York. And statement number three, one of my former students is now in a mega K-pop band. So you tell me which one is the lie. Was it statement one, that I was in a movie? Statement two, I live in New York. And three, I have a student who is now super famous in a K-pop band. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm not gonna reveal, um, because I wanna know what you think the lie is. And so that's how you would play. Everyone would share their three statements and the whole class would take a guess as to what they think the lie is. It's really, really fun because you will hear some things about your students that you're like, what? Like that, like tell me more, right? And that instantly builds rapport and that's what we ultimately want. Okay, and then game number two is the game Never Have I Ever. So this game, I'm gonna caveat with, you have to um, give a warning to your students that we're gonna play this game and it has to be appropriate. So we're not talking about boobs, butts, penises, vaginas, drugs, alcohol, none of that. Okay, it has to be school appropriate. So students are, everyone's gonna hold up 10 fingers and each person is going to share something that they have never done. So, and if you have done that thing, you're gonna put your, your a finger down and the winner at the end is has the most fingers okay so for me for example um i've never been stung by a bee so if you have been stung by a bee then you're gonna put a finger down right and so people are gonna go around and maybe they'll say things like i don't know i've never like I've never been on an airplane. So if I've been on an airplane, I'm gonna put another finger down, so on and so forth, okay? Again, we wanna keep it school appropriate. So we are not talking about anything that you wouldn't wanna say around a grown up or your mom or you know anything like that. And then finally, game number three is a digital online game. And I love, love, love Kahoot and or quizzes. I feel like most people know about Kahoot. I think we've all played Kahoot, but not everybody knows about quizzes. And I love quizzes because it's spelled Q-U-I-Z-Z-E-S. Just Google it. You'll find it. Um, I love Kahoot because who doesn't love the Kahoot music? And Kahoot's really, really fun. But I feel like sometimes with Kahoot, there is because everyone has to put in their answer before the next question, you know, pops up, there's a sense of like 
you got to be fast. And I don't always love that. And so quizzes I love because it's individualized. So if you have a student who needs a little bit longer, they can answer the question at their own pace versus student over here who maybe is just super fast, but also accurate, you know? So quizzes is great because it is individualized and you can go at your own pace. And that's why I love it so much. I am not affiliated with, with quizzes or Kahoot. I just simply am a teacher who loves those platforms. So let me know what you think. Which of these games are you going to use first? Two Truths and a Lie, Never Have I Ever, or Kahoot slash Quizzes. I can't wait to see what you say in the comments below. Let me know which one's your favorite is, and let me know which one you're going to use on your first day, first week back. Until next time. <laughs>